Well, I'm trying to get these videos done before it gets dark, and it is not looking good. Um, now, I was going to do a yearling video, but we have so many new horses come in. Private horses coming in this week. I have to actually call somebody right now, but one coming. Uh, we're up around 50 horses, give or take. You know, it wouldn't be unrealistic to think by the time we're done, private people calling us and sending horses and other horses coming in and buying a couple of horses or a few horses in Harrisburg, we'll probably end up around 60, right? Which is, I liked 47 last year. Not that we were better at 47 or, or it just, it seemed like an easy number. Um, but I'm happy the way, the way things have worked out so far. I'm very, very happy heading into the fall and winter of 2021, 2022. So rather than try and give you an updated list, because there's 41 on this list and it's absolutely not correct, um, a few little things, to, a few little things to clarify. Captain, the air we still have, although they're sold out in the site. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. There are shares that were held back. Some of these horses had shares for whatever reason. Somebody might have said, "Hey, Anthony, can you hold back 10 shares for me until we figure out what we're doing?" And then they, it's like layaway when I was a kid. They don't come back for them. So those shares will be put up for sale on Monday. I've sent emails out to clients saying, hey, let me know what you want to do. Harrisburg is coming. I want to get these shares sold to these horses. So there are some shares set aside for Captain of the Air. I'm going to start uh, releasing some of them incrementally, but I do appreciate it. This is a good looking colt. Every time, if you're at the track, if you're at Tomiko Training Center and you see the horses come on the track, you have not stopped and said, you have not not stopped and said, who's that horse? He is that kind of good-looking horse. So I don't know how he'll be next summer, but as far as getting a head start with a well-bred, good-looking pacer, uh, Captain in the Air certainly checks that box. Uh, very pumped. I forgot to bring it to everybody. You know, uh, when we left the sale, there were shares remaining of Cunning Con of uh, Cutie Cumber. And uh, Greg had bought a couple of shares. A couple of other people bought some shares. And I had forgot that the last uh, junket of shares had gone to Jeff Gorell. Here's a guy that... Um, I love being in business with him because he, he's so blunt. Like he's that guy. Um, he's that guy that, that, get, that can, that can just, you know, you're trying to lick your wounds and you throw it and he says, Oh, that horse raced like crap or something like that. And it's just, that's just him. But if you know him, that, that's just his style. And I, I love that about him. It's pretty cool. And uh, I like being in business with, with, well, with all of our clients, but definitely Jeff for that reason, a very sobering approach to horse racing. So Jeff, although he had no, um, dealings with Cutie Cumber. The horse came from Crawford Farms. Um, I did message him and I said, "Hey, I didn't get it. I didn't get the horses I wanted from your consignment, but I did get this really nice Chapter Seven filly. Would you be interested?" Bang! He said yes. So Cutie Cumber sold out. Uh, she had been sold out for a while, but Jeff was the last one that bought into her, which I was pretty pr pretty pleased with. So uh, thank you to him. Uh, Lady All Star still has some shares set aside. Now this is my top pick in the entire. Uh, win back sale that we had. Beautiful, my MVP filly looks great on the track. She's about 75 to 100 pounds overweight, but we're working on getting that weight off her. She's a little, little uh, pot belly pig, but she'll uh, that weight will come off soon enough. She looks good on the track, and she's now doing her work properly and looks great doing it. Magical Tom, I warned you. I'm not going to keep warning you. One of these days, you're going to wake up and there'll be a big zero beside his name. You won't have to ask where they went. I'm telling you right now where they went. This guy right here is going to pick them all up. I uh, continue to get good reports from Magical Tom out of Ohio and how he looks. 48 remain. That is a disgrace. That horse should not have any remaining, but never mind. Never mind. That's everybody Everybody uh, to each his own, as somebody once told me. So Magical Tom remains at 48, will soon be at zero. Merchant Man. Anyone that was at the track or see, well, I'll tell you what, the 10 remaining shares will only be there as long as it takes Steve Palermo to upload that drone video from outer space that he took today. So his drone was way up in the air, but it won't take long for you guys to see what I'm talking about. Merchant Man could train right now. He looks so good. And uh, those 10 shares will not remain long. I'm not even going to worry about telling. You do what you want. They won't be there long. Um... Who else do we got? Nothing but a dreamer was sold out, but there were some shares held back for, uh, I believe, the Ontario Select clients that wanted to, be, that paid into the buckets. There are some shares left. Those shares will be released, I, I believe, now or soon, or they've been released. This colt looks very, very good. For those of you who watched the same yearling video I did and saw that he was lame in the yearling video, rest assured, 
the story that uh, that Jim and Kim Laird gave me from Icy Stables about the Colt and having the abscess is very believable because I broke him today. We got him back to the barn last night at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock after Western Fair Raceway. Their firm is by Western Fair Raceway, but 25 minutes away. So when I was racing Duke D.O. with Shane, Cindy slipped out and picked up nothing but a dreamer, brought them all home. We brought, they bought shares of them today. That's how much they liked them when they saw them. And I broke them today. Put them right in the harness, right out on the track. The horse trotted one, two, three, four. The video of him is really, really nice also. And um, he'll be sold out quickly. Um, I can't help but thinking that Jim and Kim got a real bath over this yearling video. But I guess as far as what I can tell, their loss is our gain. Real fear. Listen up, Ohio, uh, Ohio residents and Ohio clients. Um... 82% left on a very good looking horse. I'm going to be reaching out to our high clients. Come on. He's a $14,000 good looking horse by Fear the Dragon, strong family, and looks awesome on the track. Again, uh, I was so pleased to see him bouncing around his ears up and playing this week. He's a happy horse, which is the opposite of the last Fear the Dragon we had. And I suspect that is a key component to having a good one would be having a good attitude and a good work ethic. Got half of that covered because he definitely has a good attitude. I'm going to be reaching out to you people of Ohio, to clean these 82 shares up. That right there, also like Magical Tom, a disgrace. Um, Sir Strong has some shares left kicking around. He looked awesome on the track today too. You guys, like you're going to gravitate towards this guy, right? Muscle Hill, Slick Gate, really good looking horse on the track. You're going to gravitate towards him. You can buy the shares now or you can buy them later or you can miss out. But eventually somebody's going to scoop up these last 26 shares. He looks fantastic on the track tailgate buzz for whatever reason there was 17 shares of this horse left over hiding in in an account somebody must have asked me for them or I, I don't know why they were sitting there but i saw them today and i said to wendy hey you can release those shares i don't know what they were there for um this colt looks great this is tipsy and dixie's half brother this is taiwan on's full brother he looked awesome on the track today there are 17 shares left they were at a, they were released on saturday by the time you see this video they may be gone i don't know as they likely should be. He's a good looking colt. Twin Cedars All Star. I'm reaching out to our Illinois clients about cleaning up the shares in Twin Cedars All Star and JG's ATM. Twin Cedars All Star went with Una Madonna and Horn Player and those horses today, and he looked awesome on the track. Again, a horse where I'm sure his shares will be bought up quite quickly, but for right now, a little light on Twin Cedars All Star by Lou's Legacy, the leading sire in Illinois the last two, three years. Uh, is there anybody else to cruise? War We Yuri. I think those shares are going quick as they should. He looked awesome on the track today. This is War We Roo's Brother by Cadabra. I shouldn't have to sell you on that. War We Roo is by Majestic Sun. Majestic Sun is absolutely not even close to as good a, bra a good a sire as Cadabra. This is probably the best bred. Now, I shouldn't say that. I can't remember the horses in the family, but he's a Majestic Sun. I'm going to guess the best bred horse in this. Maybe there was another Cadabra in the family. I'm not sure. Either way, War We Yuri is a very, very good looking horse and I can't wait to train him down this winter. You guys are gonna like this colt a lot. He is he does have some shares left. For the people that are buying them up, thank you very much. Again, the Ontario buckets didn't go off as well as the Ohio or even the Lexington uh, partnerships, but nevertheless, our clients are now starting to pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. As they should. War We Yuri, a very, very good looking colt. So those are, are my updates on the babies. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Uh, Captain in the Air, I talked about him. Lady All-Star, talked about her. Tailgate Buzz, Twin Cedars All-Star, and War We Yuri. Those are horses with shares left in them. Horses that sh probably shouldn't have any shares left in them. And um, as much as I'm pleased and happy with the way everybody's responded favorably to picking up these horses as we move into um, the last sale of the year, um, I appreciate it. Keep up the good work, so to speak. Um, and as I said, we got quite a selection of some really talented, really deep pedigrees to look at, and they match up with some really good looking horses on the track. So for those of you out there, you'll see all the videos. Now, hopefully, I hate to say it, but I hope there's no shares left by the time Curtis gets to droning the horses on November the 5th. But there likely will be some shares left for everybody to look at. Some really good looking horses. Oh, another horse I forgot. Cunning Connie. She looked great on the track today too. Old Connie. So, our next drone day, our first drone day of, of this season, of this grouping, is uh, scheduled for November 5th. That's the day before 
I leave for Harrisburg. Um, so hopefully you guys can get a real, real good look at some horses. But some talented looking, very deep pedigrees to look at. Uh, I appreciate all your help and continued help, hopefully, heading into what will be the last sale of the season. Take care.